Hello friends, welcome to BIM Modeler. This is Raj. In this video tutorial, we will be learning uh, Revit files. What are the file types available in Revit and elements of Revit. So you have to, if you want to work with Revit, you have to understand the elements availability in Revit. Let's get started. There are two things in Revit as you know that there are Revit project and Revit family. There are two types in the each one. One is Revit project file and Revit project template file. You can see that the Revit project template file it is RTE and the project file is RVT and the family Revit family file it is RFA and the family template file is RFT. You have to remember that what file that you are looking for and what you are trying to open. And the second thing is that uh, what are the file types Revit supports for importing and linking. So there are different things that can be uh, defined. Uh, Importing, uh, which is it supports most of the CAD files like DWG, DXF, and DGN, MicroStation, DGN, and SAT file, which is open source, and Triple SketchUp file, and 3DM file. And you can import the energy analysis done in the other software, energy analyzing softwares, and you can import those files as a GBXML file for your future analysis and uh, making a Revit modeling software work in, uh, in Revit. You can import the PDF file, so it supports from the recent uh, Revit versions and uh, as you know that we are using Revit 2020. And uh, you can import the image file for your reference and you can uh, make some reference files and you can delete them later because it will not be visible for the uh, most clearly visible and uh, based on the pixel actually. So it supports most of the formats. Linked files. So you can link the Revit file uh, if you are working with the multidiscipline uh, Revit MEP you can link uh, architecture file or structural file into your MEP file and if you are a civil person you can link your structural model and you can link your MEP model back to the architecture model for coordination. And uh, uh, most of the support files are CAD files you can import CAD files your reference for 2D referencing and other things. And for a scan to BIM, if you are using a scan to BIM options, you can link the CAD file, uh, recap files such as RCP and RCS and point cloud files can be linked. Uh, if you wanted to do coordination with the other discipline, which is not uh, supposed to be a Revit files or Autodesk products, um, you can import them in Navis work. Uh, later on, you can uh, export them as a NWZ or NWT file and you can link it back in the Revit that is possible. These are the most important uh, file types which is used and uh, in the Revit. The next thing is that uh, Revit elements. You have to understand Revit elements very clearly. Uh, there are three broadly categories available in Revit. Model elements, datum elements and view specific elements. The model elements uh, as you know that uh, whatever the elements that you see in Revit it is model element. Let's start Revit. And to learn uh, how to open the sample project, you can click this home button and click the file menu. You can go to the open, scroll down. You can keep your mouse here so that it will be scrolled. You will see a sample files folder. Click that file. It will directly open the folder in this path, samples. And go to the advanced sample uh, project for MEP or ME. Open the project. The element that you see in the 3D it is called model element. Whatever the element that you see in the 3D called model element. Whatever the element that you see in the 2D such as maybe a text, maybe a dimension and maybe a, a annotation tag or maybe a detail line which is called as uh, data uh, sorry uh, view specific elements meaning of the view specific it is you cannot see them in the other views for example this tag which is placed based on the space name so which cannot be seen on the 3d or which cannot be seen on the other views but if you see this duct you can view them on the 3d because it's a 3d element 
and you can even see them on the other section views elevation views are the possible but these annotation tags are not possible to see them on the other views so the model elements to first thing is that understanding model elements there are two broad categories host and model components host so host is the main object where you will be uh, uh, have the object in place uh, to place the model components for example host will be wall floor and roofs and ceiling as in your building uh, if you look at uh, surroundings the elements that you see in the room you will be it will be uh, based on some elements for example we will be hang the photo frame on the wall so the photo frame will be a model component the wall will be the host elements as in the revit also host will be walls and floors and roofs and ceilings such as these elements so model components will be uh, it may be a staircase window door and uh, switch boxes and uh, maybe a uh, uh, electrical uh, uh, light fixtures or maybe a uh, mechanical hvac uh, components uh, vav unit or air terminal it may be any component specific families so uh, in structural that is uh, beams and structural columns and rebars and everything will be a component family model component family so mep elements will be pipes and ducts and sprinklers everything air terminals and comes under the category of model component so the second most important thing is that datum elements datum elements are grids levels and reference planes these are the very much important requirement because every element in revit will be based on the datums so without datum uh, you cannot place for example this duct which is placed on some floor floor plan so the floor plan is nothing but uh, element which uh, representing the floor and also it holds this element so for example it is on the first floor if you delete this uh, level 1 or level 3 so whatever the level level which is in so it will be deleted for example you can go to the elevation view and or create a section view out of it you can see double click on the section view you will be able to see that this is the a level you will be able to see them these elements will be based on this level so if i if i'm tra trying to delete it automatically it will show what are the elements and what are the views uh, based on the elements which is trying to delete so there are 5559 elements are based on these level so it is a danger that uh, to delete a level without knowing these elements the grid also one of the datum element that you see to represent the element a nearby element so for example this particular pipe or duct which uh, based on the in between the 1.1 and 2 grid so it is very much important for us the another one one more datum element is reference plane so most of the times that you, uh, other than level if you want to uh, reference and constrain things the reference plane will be used we have another tutorial about uh, full about reference plane and reference line if you wanted to understand clearly you can go and watch that in our channel so that is very very much important so there are uh, these two are uh, based based out of uh, uh, revit elements basic one view specific elements so these elements for example annotation elements are view specific elements already we have designed uh decided so whatever the object that you take from this annotation tab which will be considered as annotation element uh whatever the element that you place uh in this view cannot be visible to the other views that we are using so for for example this element will not be visible in the floor plan or any other section if it is created nearby or parallel to this you cannot see them so that is the uh, view specific element there are two things in that annotation elements and detail elements so detail lines and filled region uh, it means hatches in uh, autocad 2d detail components a symbol such as arrows and other things so in the annotation element it is text notes tags and symbols and dimensions will be comes under this category um that's it for this tutorial i hope you understand the uh, requirement of uh, uh, these revit elements so you have to understand this how revit works and how what are the elements available in revit so that it will be easy for you to uh, understand revit how it works 
so thank you so much for watching uh, do share it with your learning friends and happy learning and do subscribe to the bim model if you are not channel. subscribe to it thank you